The Chips and Science Act is celebrating one year uh, anniversary of being signed into law. The act provides roughly $280 billion in new funding to boost domestic research and manufacturing of semiconductors in the United States. One of the major proponents of the legislation, Representative Michael McCall joins us now. Thank you so much for taking some time to visit hey, with thanks us. thanks for having me. Appreciate okay, one year since the Chip Act yeah. was, CHIPS Act was signed into law. How have you seen it go from legislation into practice? Well, into practice, uh, Samsung and Taylor, Texas, not too far from here has made a $250 billion investment. Uh, Intel is making investments in Ohio, Micron, in New York. And why is this all so important? Um, because Taiwan controls about 90% of the advanced semiconductor manufacturing for the world. And with the threats from China, looking down at Taiwan, if they owned or broke it, uh, TSMC in Taiwan, that would be, a, a, we'd be in a world of hurt. And it, it chips are in everything from your phone, your vehicles, the, you know, airplanes, and our most advanced weapon systems. So this is a real breakthrough in, in getting supply chain out, manufacturing here in the United States, uh, and becoming self-reliant. And, and I think it's going to be great for this area. Uh, as we look th at funding uh, that I've been able to procure, uh, we're looking also at a, at a uh, hub technical center and also center for technology and semiconductors. I've uh, been working very closely with the Secretary of Commerce on this, and um, we feel confident that we're going to get uh, a lot of that between, uh, it's a joint venture between A&M and University of Texas. Uh, John Sharp has a little bit of land outside of Taylor, <laughs> as you can imagine. <laughs> yeah. He's very good at this stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we'll switch gears here a little bit. You're the uh, the chairman of the House Committee on Foreign Affairs. It's been uh, two years, uh, almost to the day, where the U.S. Uh, troops withdrew from Afghanistan. Tragically, 13 service members lost their lives that day. Uh, you've promised a full investigation into what happened. Uh, where are you and where are we in that process? Uh, we're moving uh, uh, pretty pretty uh, rapidly. In fact, uh, I, I think in terms of document productions, I've been the most successful. I, I'm going to have a round table with the gold uh, star families and it's very tragic mm -hmm. to look at them knowing they lost their son or daughter um, in a massive explosion that could have been prevented we heard testimony from the sniper um, and his team at abbey gate they actually identified the suicide bomber but were not given permission to engage so we're gonna have the commanding officer come in and testify about why why didn't you give them permission to engage 170 people were either killed or injured by that. It was a massive explosion and it didn't have to happen. We've also uncovered that uh, the intelligence community knew that ISIS-K was plotting this in a hotel. Um, they requested an airstrike and that was denied uh, as well. It's a sad thing with these families. And I think most of all, you know, the veterans, after the way this was done, you know, they, they asked me, you know, was it worth it? And I tell them, you know, we didn't have a terror attack, a massive terror attack like 9-11, uh, you know, for 20 years. And so, yes, your service was, was worth it. But the, you know, the, the PTSD, I think the, the suicide hotline is out there. And I, I worry about our veterans, but I thank them every day. Mm. Um, Donald Trump is in the lead to become the Republican presidential nominee. Depending on the poll you look at, it's not even close to the next contender. Um, he has been indicted now for a fourth time. Will you support him as a nominee for the party if he is found guilty on any of these charges that he has been uh, charged with? I think if he's a convicted felon, it would be very difficult. I will say, you know, as a federal prosecutor in many years, uh, these state cases seem to be very politically driven um, and the charges. Uh, the federal cases, I think, are a little more serious. Uh, and, um, you know, we'll see how that plays out. You're innocent until proven guilty. Uh, uh, certainly, <clears throat> but um, uh, I would be worried about those more if I were, were him. But it seems like um, from a political standpoint, every time he gets a new indictment, his poll numbers go up. And it's just the <laughs> most incredible thing I've ever seen. Um, and uh, no one's even close to him in, in the field right now. Uh, when you go back to Washington, what is priority number one for you? Well, we're doing our appropriations. You know, we got to keep the government open. We got to make sure we're, we're going to bring down the debt and the deficit. Um, and those are kind of our big, big priorities right now. Mine for this area are road projects I have, mm -hmm. uh, and particularly in Bryan. You know, we've got three projects. Um, I'm going to Rellis campus after this to get the, you know, not only, uh, not only the semiconductor issue, 
uh, but the hypersonics that they're doing here at Texas A&M, vitally important to our national security as China has a hypersonic weapon that can circle the globe with precision and land with a nuclear weapon. So um, that's important AI that we're doing at RELIS. So all these projects uh, coming here to make sure we get the funding from the federal government. And finally, I think getting better transportation. Because if we're going to have all these, you know, military projects at a and we need to get better access, and that would include airlines, um, and look some way to find some way of, uh, of, of trains. I've got three counties that are very opposed to uh, that. I think um, if they could use existing right-of-ways, that would be a better way to do it. But we got to get these flights back into this area as well. Absolutely. Representative Michael McCall, thank you so much for being here today. Oh, thanks for having me. I appreciate it.